So good, hello everyone. I am Engineer Pauline C and I am a licensed chemical engineer and a product specialist for, for Top LC Biomedical Inc. So uh, right now I'll be presenting po yung GFOX spirulina with probiotics. So ano po ba yung, para saan po ba ang spirulina with probiotics ng GFOX? So let's find out po. So ano po ba ang spirulina? So spirulina po ay isang bacteria but it is a good bacteria that is approximately 100 times greener than chlorella. So, ibig sabihin po nito, mas marami po yung content, chlorophyll content niya. So, aside from chlorophyll po, nagko-contain din po ito ng phycocyanin, making it blue-green in color. So, therefore, kaya po siya blue-green, ay, kaya po siya tinatawag na cyanobacteria is because it is blue-green in color. So, ang nutrients, ang spirulina po kasi ay nagko-contain ng uh, very many nutrients po. So, the first one po is yung chlorophyll. Ang chlorophyll po ay nagpo-provide ng complete energy at ang nagkakapag-promote po ng, digest ng good digestive system at ng immune system. So, aside from that po, it also det helps detoxify our body from the toxins. So, yung next nutrient niya naman po ay yung SOD. So, yung SOD po ay isang antioxidant na tinatawag po nating superoxide dismutase. So yung SOD po na to ay isang since it is a very powerful antioxidant, nakakatulong po siya sa pag uh, prevent po ng damage from free radicals. So yung free radicals po kasi ay makukuha natin sa maraming factors tulad po ng pollution at UV rays. So uh, dahil po uh, constant po ang attacks from these uh, environmental stressors, kailangan po natin i-supplement yung diet natin with antioxidants such as SOD. So, yung next naman po is yung water-soluble protein. Since water-soluble protein po to, mas madali po siya ma-absorb ng ating katawan for our uh, proper body functions. So, yung next naman po is yung uh, it contains 18 kinds of essential amino acids. So, yung, so, yung amino acids po na to ay importante po para po maka-function ng, mas maay, ang, ng better or ng, ng normal po ang ating katawan. So, yung essential amino acids po na to, since essential po siya, Ibig sabihin po nun ay hindi po nasisynthesize or nagagawa ng ating katawan ang amino acids. So dahil po ito ay hindi nasisynthesize, kailangan po natin isupplement yung diet natin ng amino acids na to. So yung next naman po ay yung polyunsaturated fatty acids. Ito naman po ay nakapagtulong sa pagpapababa ng bad cholesterol levels sa ating katawan. Dahil po dito, uh, naglo-lower po siya ng cardiovascular diseases or yung risk po nito. So yung next naman po is yung water-soluble glucans. Ito po ay isang dietary fiber. So yung, since dietary fiber po siya, nakaka-help po siya sa pagpapababa din po ng bad cholesterol levels in our body. So dahil po dito, nakakapag-increase po siya ng good cardiovascular health as well as yung, yung intestinal system natin dahil ito po ay dietary fiber. So yung last two nutrients po na kinokontain na spirulina are yung uh, multiple, multiple vitamins and also the minerals. So alam naman po natin na kailangan po ng katawan natin to para po mag-function ng mas maayos. So ano po ba yung effects ng spirulina sa different age groups? So ito po ay pwede pong i-intake ng uh, children as young as 2 years old uh, and teenagers po ng adults at ng matatanda po. So actually po, ang spirulina ay recommended po, po by the uh, countries such as Mexico and United States for uh, for their athletes. So uh, so uh, nire-recommend po net, nila to dahil ito po ay nagpo-provide ng complete ng energy, ng energy at pati po ng complete nutrition. So aside from that po, uh, aside from energy and nutrition, it also provides uh, uh, benefits for our skin such as yung uh, pagpapaganda po ng skin tone and texture dahil po sa kinocontain niyang vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. So, yung spirulina po ay hindi lang po for prevention of diseases, it also uh, helps with the treatment. So ito po, ang makikita natin dito po ay ang kung ano po ang hinahelp na spirulina with respect to uh, different health complications po. So first of all, it also since alkaline po ang spirulina, it helps uh, lower the acidity of our body. So it also prevents the formation po of tumors or yung pag-form uh, pag po ng tumors or for cancer, ganon. Tapos nagpa-prevent din po siya ng, ay nagpa-prevent din po siya ng uh, high blood cholesterol. So nilo-lower niya po yung blood cholesterol natin para po bumaba rin po yung blood pressure. Uh, pati po maiwasan po yung obesity or yung pag-increase po ng weight natin. So aside from that, it also helps lower the 
blood sugar levels in our body due to its uh, dietary fiber content. And due to that fi dietary fiber content, nakakapag-increase din po siya ng immunity because uh, tumataas po yung, ay gumaganda po yung health ng ating intestines. So since gumaganda po yung health ng ating intestines, uh, it also helps uh, prevent constipation or to alleviate the symptoms of constipation. So, so since uh, it contains very uh, a various various amounts of vitamins and minerals, nakatulong din po siya sa pag-prevent po ng anemia at ng stress at ng, nakatulong din po siya to de detoxify or to help the liver detoxify. So, ayun po ang maganda sa spirulina. Nagko-contain po siya ng maraming nutrients na kailangan po natin sa daily activities natin. Pwede po siya i-intake ng at any age group at pwede rin po siya i-intake ng mga vegetarians dahil ito po ay plant-based or uh, ito po ay plant-based because it is from algae. Kaya po siya tinatawag na superfood. So, bakit po naging uh, so why is G fox spirulina with probiotics the best choice? So, ito po ay sourced from the largest algae plant in the world. So, yung algae plant po na to ay nagsusource po ng algae from 500 meters deep into the ocean using patented technology. So since uh, the, the deeper the waters po kasi, the, more, the less polluted po kasi ang waters. Kaya po sure tayo na safe and uh, high quality po ang ating spirulina. So this plant is also uh, strictly controlled and is uh, inspected uh, yearly by quality, irregularly by quality inspectors and also has international certifications po. And aside from that po, uh, may added pong may added pong probiotics para po ma para po magkaroon ng better absorption po ng nutrients na nanggagaling sa spirulina. So dito po makikita po natin yung largest algae production plant na kung saan natin sinosource ang ating uh, spirulina. So features po ng GFOX spirulina with probiotics is that yung GFOX yung spirulina po na, na ginagamit po sa GFOX is that is uh, ex, uh is sourced from is sourced from a selection of uh, algae species so sure po tayo na ito po ay nagko-contain ng uh, the amount of spirulina that uh, that is required so yung spirulina po na to or yung algae na kinukuha natin from uh, the ocean uh, binibreed po to doon sa planta uh, with uh, moderated sea water so using patented technology we are able to uh, uh, to sort to extract the spirulina or yung cyanobacteria uh, without actually without uh, without lessening the benefits of it dahil po sa patented technology na to so hindi na dehydrate po natin at sinesterilize po natin at after that po pinap uh, ini inspect pa po to make sure na uh, na to make sure po na high quality po talaga ang spirulina so mahita po natin dito yung inspection certificates po for the uh, spirulina man for the spirulina plant kung saan natin sinosource ang spirulina natin so nag uh, so it has passed SGS inspection na it does not contain heavy metals uh, it has also passed the certificate uh, the Council of Agriculture ng Taiwan that makes sure that hindi po siya wala po siyang kino contain na uh, uh, drugs it also has passed the uh, it also has halal certifications ISO 9001 certification kosher kosher certification and also Taiwan quality foods uh, certification so sure po tayo na yung spirulina po na ginagamit natin ay high quality and safe for consumption so ang ginagamit po nating probiotics uh, with DG Fox spirulina with probiotics is the Lactobacillus plantarum. So bakit po natin ginagamit ang specific na species na to? It is because uh, yung species po na to ay nag improve po ng absorption po ng uh, nutrients na nanggagaling sa spirulina. So aside from that po, this uh, so this probiotic uh, helps increase po the good the amount of good bacteria in our intestines. So since uh, dumadami po yung good bacteria sa intestines natin, yung sabihin po nito ay nagiging healthy po ang ating intestinal system. So mas mas gumag mas uh, gumaganda po yung pag-absorb po ng nutrients ng ating intestines. So paano po natin nalalaman kung okay po ang health ng ating intestines? Malalaman po natin yan sa excrement po natin or sa pag or sa pag uh, or sa bowel po natin. So healthy bowel movement is from uh, is one to three times a day po. 
uh, the, the color of our excrement should be dark yellow. It should be float, semi-floating, and it shouldn't be uh, very. The smell shouldn't be too strong, po. So th that's how we know, po, kung okay po yung intestinal health natin. So basic Q and A po. Paano po ginagamit ang ating spirulina with probiotics? So for maintenance of our health, uh, one to three tablets uh, a day po taken with taken partially bef uh, taken partially with meals or pwede rin po before meals with warm water. So kaya po warm water ang recommended dahil po uh, para po makatulong po sa pagdigest po ng tablets at para po matulungan po ang intestines natin na maabsorb ang nutrients. So para po sa mga may sakit, uh, pwede pong one tablet a day with one hour interval before or after taking their own medications po. So sino po pwede mag-intake nito? Uh, pwede po to for children as young as 2 years of age. Uh, pwede rin po sa adults, teenagers, pwede rin po sa matatanda. So, how many strains po ang kinocontain ng ating produkto? So, this one contains only one strain of probiotic, which is the Lactobacillus plantarum. So, for other questions po, uh, so para saan po ba ang spirulina with probiotics? So, ito po ay para sa complete nutrients at uh, energy production at also uh, a complete nutrients po talaga siya. So, yung spirulina po ay nakakatulong po sa pag uh, uh, sa pag uh, improve po ng health conditions natin tulad po ng sa cancer, diabetes, uh, it, it also helps po with uh, lowering the blood uh, our blood cholesterol. So, nakakatulong din po siya sa pag uh, improve po ng health conditions such as yung pagbabara po ng ugat, high blood pressure, high blood uh, cholesterol. And also, nakakatulong din po siya sa pag-lower po ng ating blood sugar levels dahil po ito ay nagko-contain ng dietary fiber. So aside from that po, uh, tumutulong din po siya sa pag-improve uh, ng, improve ng uh, ay pag-lessen po ng weight natin or yung pag-prevent po ng obesity. So marami po talagang uh, benefits po ang paggamit ng spirulina. So ano po ba yung active ingredients ng spirulina with probiotics? So uh, so first one po is yung spirulina or yung cyanobacteria or yung blue-green algae. And then the next one po is yung probiotics or yung lactobacillus plantarum. So paano po ba siya ginagamit? So three, uh, one to three tablets po a day uh, taken 30 minutes before, before meals. So sino po ba pwede gumamit ng spirulina? So ito po ay pwede po para sa mga uh, sa children as young as 2 years of age, uh, pwede rin po sa teenagers, adults, and the elderly po. Uh, uh, for uh, naman po for lactating and pregnant mothers since different po ang dietary requirements nila kailang, uh, it is suggested po na i-consult po nila ang kanilang doctors prior to taking any food uh, food supplements po so as for the overdose po kung may side effects po ba to or may, pag may overdose po to ito po ay isang health food supplement therefore wala po siyang side effects uh, with respect to overdosage naman po uh, it is recommended to take the uh, recommended dosage uh, ng 1 to 3 tablets a day dahil po kailangan natin i-take into account the amount of uh, uh, compounds na kailangan po i-metabolize ng ating liver. So saan po ginawa ang produkto natin? So ang spirulina with probiotics po ay sourced from Taiwan. This is uh, yung planta po kasi natin ay from Taiwan po. So uh, this is Taiwan manufactured that and Philippine distributed. So, yun lang po para sa G-Pox Spirulina with Probiotics. Thank you very much.